Hey everybody, it's Gamer Gramps here, and today we're doing a domination run with the Aztecs on Deity Difficulty, where we're over-explaining as we go so that beginner players can follow along and learn faster. You get to see what we're doing to win on this level, but more importantly, you understand why we're doing it. There's timestamp chapters so you can jump around or fast forward to the action if you think I'm rambling too much. Quick shout out to Jackson Rees and Steven Sadler who've been channel members here on YouTube for 27 and 43 months respectively. I fully intend to quit my job and do this full time at some point and you guys are definitely helping me make that dream come true that much quicker. One last thing before we jump in, I can be pretty special and screw up what I'm trying to say more than you think but I normally edit a lot of shit out. Today we're doing it a little differently. So if you're up to it, take a quick sec to comment down below how many screw-ups are going to be in this video, and we'll find out together before Korea becomes a distant memory. Before I forget, if you haven't seen the first part of this tutorial, I pinned a link for you in the top of the comments section if you want to check that out first. But otherwise, let's get into this already. All right, here we go. Jumping back in here, we're going to try to not lose a step. It's been a couple days since I played the game, so I'm going to have to wrap my head around sort of where we were. But it shouldn't take too, too long for me to jump back into things and get into the swing of it here. So let's go ahead and delete this scout from existence. Uh, meantime, in Chalco here, let's actually go ahead and finish the builder that we had started working on that last time. With this one, we got two charges on this builder, so let's definitely go ahead and get the pasture up on the sheep. Speaking of pasture, when we build it, it's going to boost our horseback riding, so we definitely want to get out of this right now. Let's jump into the tech tree and see where we want to go. And... I vote on iron working and considering my votes the only one that really matters that's what we're gonna do no in all seriousness though the reason we want to get to iron working as quickly as we can is because the uh the, dumbass the uh the, I was just about to say the Aztec Jesus Christ <laughs> the Koreans have a very very high science output like if you look at what they have compared to what we have they're rocking 28 signs per turn so that means they're definitely going to be getting high tier units soon. They'll have their own swordsmen. They'll have other combat units. They're definitely going to be getting walls up. And that's kind of going to be a problem for us, especially, say, with this city right here. If you take a look at it, they already have the encampment. So once they get walls up, our little eagle warriors, as good as they are, are going to find like their value really, really limited, right? So we want to kind of be ready for that. And we're going to be chopping out our army. Uh, we have a governor title, so it's a good segue into that. We're going to be taking Magnus here. And the reason why is because we're going to be going down the left side of his promotion tree. We want to get to Black Marketeer as soon as possible for the 80% discount on strategic unit cost. And I can't, can't even begin to explain to you how powerful that actually is. So that's our choice. That's who we're going with. And we're going to go ahead and throw him into our capital for now speaking of the capital let's take a look and see what they're building they just finished their encampment now i do want to get us one more settler like we just took this one over here so that'll be our third city well jonju will be our third city <laughs> but our third city we're actually founding is going to be with that settler i want to get one more just so that we can actually chop out another army so i definitely want to like make sure that the city location we choose has some chops available for us but also more importantly that it has strategic resources right so we already have iron here there's more iron there that unfortunately we're not going to be able to grab but i mean it is what it is right we're going to have horses coming when we settle up here and yeah so maybe i can actually just focus on chopping or actually you know what i'm kind of torn because this would actually be a good location for us. yeah you know what i'm just gonna instead of worrying about chopping the army we're gonna go down here to be a decent location we'll have a 223 and a 22 to start off with there's an iron tile in range and then on top of that we actually have a nice location for a campus over here and 
as I just said, science is going to be really important to us. So we're going to want to be able to do the best we can to keep up with the AI in order uh, to have our army be relevant, right? We want to be able to keep rolling over them. And to do that, you need to have upgraded units. So we'll definitely put our campus there. It'll be a nice plus three campus to start with. And we'll go from there. So to that effect, though, although we do want a settler and we have just unlocked the colonization policy card, which like I would highly suggest slotting in if you're going to be building settlers. However, we're going to wait for a little bit until Magnus is actually established and then we'll chop settlers once he has the next prom promotion, which he'll be getting once we get to state workforce in six turns. So since we'll be able to switch our policy cards then anyway, let's just not worry about it and we'll focus on something else. So what something else do? Ooh, shit. I just looked and realized the fucking volcano is smoking. So that actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're going to throw in Ilkum for the plus 30% production towards builders. And we're going to start a builder here. And we're also going to buy the tiles to chop. I'm not going to spend the money right now, though, because if this volcano shits all over this tile before I buy it, dumbasses. because if this volcano shits all over this tile before I buy it, I'm going to cry or after I buy it, I'm going to cry. So we'll wait till we get the builder there ready to chop before we actually buy that tile. But we definitely want to hopefully chop this tile right here and that tile right there before the volcano destroys them. So uh, that's why we're switching into a builder and I mean we want to wait for state workforce anyways before Getting moving on to our settler production. So that should work itself out pretty well. I think Okay, so dedication wise we're not playing with a religion at all So the bottom ones out of the picture Monumentality is a decent choice sometimes except for we're not gonna be building very many specialty districts So it kind of is a moot point for us. So the real choice is between free inquiry and pen brush and voice and to me, there's not really a choice. It's free inquiry. And I'll kind of try to do my best to explain the reason because, hey, this is a Civ 6 over explain <laughs> video. So we'll go into the details specifically here. All right. So the reasoning behind my choice is that if you take a look at the tech tree right here, oop, well, it would help if I clicked on the right fucking picture. Dumbass. If you jump into the tech tree here, all right. We've already got quite a few of the Eurekas, which is whatever, like there's no getting past that, right? However, if you take a look at it, there's also a whole bunch that we haven't got. And if you look at what they actually are, they're very easy. And not only are they easy to get, they also kind of lead into each other, which helps you snowball and get more air score faster. For instance, we're going to be building a pasture. We know already. So that's one we're going to have, right? But then we're going to be getting three archers anyway, just as part of our army. It's nice to have ranged units with your army, which then brings you to machinery and boosts that. So that's another one we're going to get. And we'll eventually be upgrading the crossbowmen for sure, which then boosts you down here. Owning two crossbowmen gives you metal castings, Eureka, right? And there's another, like, I'm not going to go into every single one of them, but I mean, build three mines we're going to be doing that build three different specialty districts we're going to be building the encampment which we already have we're going to be building the government plaza which is two and we're going to be taking korea's campuses which is three so right there that's another one and you get the point by now right but if you take a look at the civic tree over here for one we've already gotten a bunch of them same thing as the science tree but then when you look at the ones we haven't got we're not founding a religion. Sure, we will have two campus districts, don't get me wrong, but how long is it going to take us to get those two? Then on top of that, we're not going to be building a wonder anytime soon at all. We might have the construction technology. We probably will, but again, it's not going to be right away. I doubt anybody's going to declare war on us because we're going to be a fucking powerhouse. We're going to be the ones declaring war. And I mean, you can see as we go along here, it's going to be a while before we get a 10 pop city building two markets we're not going to have two temples like you get the point by now right all right enough let's move on okay so 
As I said, we're going with free inquiry and moving on with our lives. Now, we're in a race against the clock here. As I said, look at their signs per turn, right? They're at 28 and we're at 7. So we got to like take advantage of our position of power we put ourselves in while we can actually take advantage of it. So on that note, what we're going to try and do is we're definitely going to take John Drew here for sure. And we're going to try and zip down and take Guan Ju. But if not, if they end up getting city walls up before we can take it, that's fine because we'll have districts to pillage and we'll at least get something out of our conquest. Like if you take a look, I guess we can't see it, so it probably won't. Yeah, we can't see it. Dumbass. But, oh, never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, you can see it. It's right there. If you take a look, they have a library, which means we can pillage that campus twice. And if you take a look here, we get 38 signs per time we pillage. So that's like, what, 72? Yeah, 60. Oh, 76. So that's going to be 76 signs right there. Not to mention, I don't know, that doesn't look like an encampment. But, oh yeah, it's a theater square. You can see the trees and shit. So that's going to be a theater square we'll be able to, to pillage. And they have a mine here on top of that, which is some extra cash for us. So even if they do get the city walls, we'll at least have a consolation prize, right? And that science and that money will help us upgrade troops and be able to, to get the technology to get battering rams, which we'll need to couple with our swordsmen to, to make the push further in once they do have the walls up and running. Okay, so our governor is... Idol has said, but he isn't really because we fucking established him, so don't know what that's talking about. But in the meantime, what we want to do is get these eagle warriors all on the side of the city here so that we can attack it easier. So we'll shift these two over, move this guy in closer here, and then we're gonna definitely pillage that there. We'll shave six turns off for us, so that's nice. Now we know that we're gonna be settling up in this area here and specifically as i said the last time because of that problem with my microphone i played this map a little bit so i happen to know there's another three two tile right here and then there's a hill tile right here that we're gonna settle on with fresh water so we're gonna be moving our settler oh wait it's taking the long way around because of the builder we're gonna get the builder out of the way and send him to the horses and then we'll be settling right so we'll go ahead and throw the tack down there just so we can keep track of that but it's going to be a great powerful city there's like two three twos over there there's another one down here and we're going to start with a four two tile right beside the city and have horses nearby so that should be a really nice pickup for us yeah no you can eat my ass honey we're not we're not uh making peace not anytime soon anyway all right, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and try and get our vampire down into the equation a bit more. Um, meanwhile, let's let these two heal up and we'll take shots with our unexperienced eagle warriors. I was just about to say, and hopefully they'll get a promotion or two. Uh, let's get our boost here. Thank you, sir. And we'll start heading our archer over yonder. Meanwhile, we'll just put this builder to sleep so we don't have to worry about it. Ah, we met the Cree. Where, sir, are you? Okay, so by Germany-ish, decently close to us if we want to make a Western army, but not that close. Yeah, I would probably definitely hit Germany first, most likely. We'll see. Time will tell, I guess, right? Anyway, let's continue on. Now, actually, before we go any further, what I'm going to do is we're going to buy this tile here and plop down our encampment so that the price is locked in before we continue getting that builder. Uh, meanwhile, this guy's got one charge and we'll spend it to speed along that encampment. Like, we'll sacrifice him into it for a 20% boost to it as soon as he's finished. Uh, and yeah, let's just keep on moving over with there. Hopefully we get lucky and get the builder out in time to make the chops before the volcano shits, but it is what it is, right? Uh, in the meantime here, let's go ahead and heal up for one more turn. Take the promotion there and whack him. We're definitely not getting rid of our iron, however, we can try selling open borders to him. 
and he will pay for it, so we'll take his 19 gold. They're going to be getting their city walls up. You can see them building it here, and ooh, even this city looks further along, so we definitely want to get down there and raid. It looks like we're not going to be able to conquer them, so we'll just have to go ahead and, and run down there and pillage quickly. So in order to get that done faster, let's go, go ahead and start. Actually, you know what? There's only one turn until iron working left. We have the iron to do it now. Yeah, we'll up. We'll wait until next turn and we'll upgrade a swordsman so that if they blast. Actually, no, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get going. We'll shift this guy down so we can get our vampire closer. Hit them with a stronger unit first to do the more most damage so that hopefully this unit takes less damage and there we go we got a nice new city there now rebellion in seven turns sure okay whatever it looks <laughs> looks like a bad situation but we'll be moving magnus over there which will help with loyalty um as soon as we finish with our chops here so speaking of finishing with our chops we're going i'm gonna go ahead and start on another builder and send this guy here to get ready to chop as soon as Magnus is settled in. And meanwhile, over here, we can't repair the campus or anything because we don't have writing yet. There's not really much we can do, so we'll just get them to start on a builder for now anyway. Do they already have monument? Yeah, they must, right? Yeah. Okay, so this guy's ready to... Oh, I totally forgot that we had the second builder. <laughs> okay. Anyway, actually, you know what? Maybe this guy can get over there sooner? No, probably not. I don't think he'll be able to make it over there beforehand. There's no point rushing. Um, but in the meantime, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch over to encampment. We'll sacrifice this guy. And then we'll switch right back into the builder. So we'll finish it for next turn. All right, we got iron working. And you can see there that Cyrus has a little chubby for us because we sneak attack Korea. We fulfilled his secret leader agenda there. And uh, that's why he... he appreciates us you can see they're sending their missionaries too hopefully he has a decent religion let's actually go ahead and ch check that out what is he spreading to us feed the world and synagogue well if only i had shrines and temples so so far so far nothing <laughs> nothing too great but i guess the synagogue would be okay because getting some extra faith isn't necessarily a bad thing if you pick up the grandmaster chapel in the government plaza in the mid game you can end up getting some of the faith that you accumulate like through uh, pillaging and stuff like that and use it to get units for yourself so if we get some extra through building synagogues then i mean why not right all right so we're gonna skadoodle down here unfortunately the mine on that side of them is already pillaged so there's not really much we can do about it we'll move there with this guy and we're gonna shift this eagle warrior down so that if they get their walls up at least we'll have two guys pillaging so we can get the hell out of there before they do too much damage but you never know they might actually take a little bit to get their walls up so we're gonna go ahead and move our vampire down there anyway in the meantime here we'll just let these guys heal up he earned his promotion so we'll take battle cry there for him and we have a builder here you know what i want to get these luxuries online in order to get the combat bonus that we we have as the aztec so i was going to say that we should go straight into masonry in order to unlock battering rams but i'm thinking about detouring to irrigation actually no you know what now i'm rethinking that we're going to go masonry first and then to pottery then grab irrigation quickly and then hit up writing so that'll be the route route we take and that's the reasoning behind it normally i go straight for writing because we want to like repair the damaged campuses from korea and get our own campuses and science going however the extra combat strength yeah I, oh my god i was having a moment there <laughs> the extra combat strength from the each luxury that we get up and running is just going to be worth it right like there's plus one plus two there and i think we had a yeah we had coca here too which requires irrigation so there's plus three combat strength just from getting that technology like that more than warrants spending three turns to grab irrigation real quick in the meantime we have one more turn until magnus is established so let's just wait here so we're ready for it um yeah, there's no point sending him up there. However, let's send the builder here because what we're gonna do is we'll end up buying that tile 
with state workforce or with state work <laughs> i'm just looking up there <laughs> jesus christ okay so we're gonna end up buying the tile from chalco because if we were to if we were to buy it from our capital it would be three tiles away and we'd have to it would be expensive right however if you come down here and we buy it from here it's only two tiles away so you save a bit of money so we'll go ahead and grab that now and then we'll switch it over to the capital once we purchase that tile god willing that it's not actually you know what i'll just purchase it anyway because even if it does spew and we don't get the chop um it will end up being a good tile once the volcano shits all over it and we'll be able to chop this one here so let's just go ahead and grab that now and we might as well go ahead and grab these other good chopping tiles that are close by while we're at it and then in a couple more turns we'll be able to grab that last one and that that'll be the last chop we do in the city before we move magnus to uh the korean city to help deal with the loyalty there All right, so we finished the builder. Let's go put the encampment on for now because this builder is going to sacrifice himself too for the greater glory of our nation. Uh, but in the meantime, because we have all these pastures that we want to upgrade and we still have that policy card in, I think we put one more builder. In the meantime here though, I suppose technically we could get this up and running, but I don't really think there, there's a point doing it. We're already working the 4-1 tile over there, and I'd rather them work a 2-2 two, two than just get more food. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Or wait, can we afford that one? Yeah, you know what? We'll get that one there, and then we'll sell something in order to get the money to buy this tile to chop once. Um, once we make sure we even have enough builder charges to do it, which we should because we're getting that third, or that other builder. But it's going to be a few turns anyway, so we have a little bit of time to get the money up to buy that tile. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do it now if we can. Let's see. Let's see if we have something. You know what? I'm actually curious now that I think about this. So, we're getting the plus one combat strength from having the truffles or whatever it is, right? Hold on, where it should say it, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, plus one strength for each unique luxury owned. I'm wondering, I'm curious. We're going to do this for science. We're going to lose a combat strength for science if it doesn't work out. I wonder if we sell our truffles, if it counts for being improved or not. I think it it won't count anymore and we'll lose the combat strength, but I'm going to test it because if we can still sell our luxuries and not avoid the combat strength, like that's pretty fucking giga chad. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and do that now if we can find a decent price for it. And unfortunately, like, the Kree wants it, but they don't have any money to pay for it. So we'll have to test that out once it's actually in our interest to do so. Uh, and in the meantime, we just met the Kree. They're not willing to pay us anything for our borders. So let's continue on our merry way. I was wondering how our vampire got injured so much. <laughs> and then I noticed that they got their walls up, so their encampment took a shot at us. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head down here with the archer. Next turn, we'll pillage there. Next turn, we'll pillage the mine and also the campus. So even if they get their walls up, we should be fine. But obviously we're gonna wanna pull our vampire back here. There's no point letting them sit there and take shots at it. Uh, we might as well go ahead and get this eagle warrior up. We'll put the vampire in the city so it can heal better since it has that uh, reduced healing rate anyway. And we did get ourselves another governor title, so we'll go ahead and take provision there in the capital. And let's go ahead, change policies quickly into colonization, confirmed. And then we're gonna chop into a settler and we'll queue up the builder in case I'm not going to count the production. 
we're just going to queue up the builder in case it gives us more production so we don't waste any. And no, it didn't. Okay, there we go. Either way, I shaved a shit ton of turns off the settler, which is great. Now it's going to be what? You know what? Normally, I would say to go straight for political philosophy. Like, I probably should have changed that. However, I think in this case, grabbing military tradition real quick is the better option. For one, it gives us flanking and combat support bonuses, which is great. However, it allows us to sit here with Magnus. Like, we're going to have three turns now until we get military tradition. You can't see it, but whatever. There's three turns, right? That gives us enough time to take advantage of the, pol the colonization policy card and then to also then switch real quick back into the Ilkum policy card to boost our builders production, which is what we're, we're building in these other cities, right? So in the meantime, instead of wasting production, we're going to go ahead and start work on the encampment since we don't have any policy cards that boost our encampment production. We might as well spend our production on that while we don't have the builder policy card on in order to be a little bit more efficient. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll go ahead and sacrifice another charge to speed up the time here. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our city here. And I think here we're just going to start on a monument right away. The faster we can get some culture going in general is good for our our playthrough. However, we specifically want the culture here in this city too. So we can expand our borders that much quicker because we have such great tiles. And ideally, it would be nice if we didn't have to pay for them necessarily, right? In a perfect world. Uh, let's take a look and see. So he's still broke and we're not going to sell our luxury for gold per turn like i just don't see the value in that it's all about snowballing right so you want a bulk amount to gold instantly even though it's a lesser amount so that you can use it to upgrade units real quick or to buy a unit and other things like that uh, so that's the reasoning behind why we're not sorry why we're not selling that right away Okay, so they still haven't gotten walls up here, but it's just a matter of time. So let's go ahead and get our pillaging off. Um, oh, actually, in that regard, so we don't waste culture. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's switch into political philosophy and pillage it. So it all goes into that. Brings that down to three turns. That's nice. Um... And in that case, actually, you know what? We only have two turns left on military tradition. So I think it's good to just stay where we are there um, because we can actually, we'll have one turn, more turn after, and we can go here and we can chop, we can chop out one more settler after that, which gives us kind of the best of both worlds where we can settle a nice city here and then also settle a city that has nice ch chops available so we can chop out an army real quick. Yeah, I think what we'll do is the other city, we'll settle it down here here some, somewhat. Now, remember, I, I do know a little bit about the terrain because of that whole fucking microphone malfunction thing. So I do know that there is lots of chops in the tundra down here. So that's what we'll do. But yeah. Okay, so enough of looking at that. Let's go ahead and sacrifice another charge. Gives us one turn left on the encampment, which is nice. In the meantime, here, we'll get this going to help get their population up faster, which will make, um, sorry, which will make the loyalty less of an issue. And then on top of that, like I said, we're gonna be having the governor go there. But as you can see, we have 13 turns left before there's even an issue. And we'll have Magnus there before that anyway, so 
it, it's just kind of a non-issue at this point almost uh meanwhile though we do have a scout here so let's go ahead and move the vampire out he'll take the shot from the encampment over there but whatever that's fine and then we'll wait until next turn we'll pillage this turn so but before we do that let's make sure we forget it yeah i did i wanted to make sure that i had them queued up so if there's any overflow of the science it doesn't get wasted but as i was gonna say so we're gonna pillage this now and then next turn if they don't move the scout away we'll probably attack and kill it altogether even if we have to use this eagle warrior um and just so be it but meanwhile let's go ahead and pillage here too. get 86 more dollars which gives us enough cash to come and grab that tile that we wanted to chop so let's do that before the price goes up any further and then meanwhile we're gonna get rid of the builder in in the queue, queue here and put a, another settler in the queue after this one and then a builder after that we'll go into oh actually you know what maybe we won't hold on yeah never mind scratch the builder we go government plaza and generally speaking you always want to try and put government plazas next to you, the city and the reason being that is it gives a bonus i believe i forget the exact bonus honestly uh it's been a minute let's quickly check this oh never mind scratch that i'm an idiot i was getting it messed up it's not the government plaza it's the fucking um diplomatic quarter that you want to build next to your city my bad it's been a while you'll have to forgive me okay so they got a swordsman out there like i said their technology would be coming real quick right uh so i'm glad that the game proved me right and helped me look to you know not look like such a douche um in the meantime here though we're still gonna be okay what we want to do though is actually get a little bit more gold so we can upgrade this eagle warrior into a swordsman which will then boost our aztecs dumbass combats our aztecs jesus fuck english learn english oh my god <laughs> oh my fucking english jesus <sighs> okay focus by upgrading this eagle warrior into a swordsman it's gonna give our vampire more combat strength so that's why we want to do it and speaking of our vampire i just looked and noticed i forgot to make a unique name so let's go ahead and welcome gamer gramps to the world and going forward we're gonna have a vampire i think in the next era so comment down below give me some names and suggestions you think would be good ideas for our next vampires names the funnier the better to be honest because i like to laugh but i'll definitely go through all of them and, and either pick the one that i think is funniest or best or maybe even we'll have like a vote on it in the discord server or something but yeah definitely if you feel like it take the time give me your suggestions for names down below and we'll figure something out for the next video but anywho uh we wanted to get this scout here do they build the city walls no they're, they're not done yet but they're they're almost done all right so i'm just thinking how i want to do this here because i want to pillage that tile but i want to kill that scout however i'm worried that the encampment and the swordsman will one shot eagle warrior if i do it with the eagle warrior all right so let's try this let's go they got a little bit more cash you know what normally i wouldn't do it for that low amount of, of money but fuck it uh that'll be enough that we can upgrade the eagle warrior so we'll take the crease deal and now we're gonna find out too if we lose our combat strength when we sell it so let's see there we go down to 27 no we didn't no we did not that is fucking awesome i never did wow yep that's a special moment boy <laughs> light bulb 
<laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's upgrade this fucker here. Okay, we got that. We got a little bit of money left over. Let's buy this horse tile so we don't continue to forget about our builder that's been sitting there for a while. Uh, and then in the meantime, here we'll go ahead and start on the builder. And next turn we'll be switching into Ilkum there. But in the meantime, here, let's go ahead and chop this other settler out once we get this guy on his way down there. Oh, I almost fucking chopped without switching it over. <laughs> what? Why would I not be able to switch that over? Dumbass. I don't know. I'm not even going to think about this. I'm just going to cry about it. I don't know why I can't swap that tile. Maybe... I don't know. I thought you could swap every tile other than the first ring on it. Oh, it's in managed citizens. That's why. Okay. <laughs> that was a close one. I almost just I fucking cried and, and didn't do it for nothing. All right, here we go. Uh, so it's swapped, right? Just want to completely confirm because we all know that I'm kind of special. And we joke about the short bus a lot, but it's kind of a half truth. Uh, yeah. All right. So nice. We got our other settler. So we'll send him around the other way. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. When she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. When she comes. And I'm going to just thought of this now. If that volcano destroys my settlers, <laughs> I might be tempted to save scum. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I don't normally save scum, but that... Oh my god. I'm just cringing right now. Like, if... Oh, my luck? If that happens? Oh my god. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack the scout. But I'd like a builder. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. It's worth risking an eagle warrior. But is he gonna actually kill it is the question. Yeah, I think he does. Let's do it. Ah! Noise, and yeah, he'll be able to take tank a shot. You know what? Fuck it. Let's actually attack this swordsman too, to make the swordsman less inclined to attack the full strength eagle warrior. All right. Meanwhile, we'll get this dude waiting his turn for when we actually get irrigation in the next little bit. And speaking of which. Let's go ahead and pillage here with this guy. And that got us pottery and how many turns until... And we'll have irrigation next turn. And then writing the turn after that, which is beautiful. It'll allow us to get our own campuses out for one, but also to repair the campus we took from the Korean city. But on top of that, it also helps us get towards apprenticeship even faster. And the reason why is we want to get towards man at arms so we can upgrade our troops and just continue to have that tech advantage and snowball right now i honestly think like getting towards machinery is a really important thing to do too to get siege towers and cross wounds are, are very nice to have however you got to think about there's more techs to get in order to get up to machinery and plus we have more melee units and we're gonna already have more melee units anyway so it's just more important there plus it's faster we only have to get currency and then we can go straight into apprenticeship compared to on the bottom route which we will go eventually but we would need to get wheel construction engineering and machinery plus by doing it this way not only is it faster for the reason i just mentioned but it also then gives us time that we can actually boost these technologies like we can build a water mill and build ancient walls in order to cut down the time we need right now speaking of building a water mill we do need the wheel to get that in order to boost that so i think that's actually worth taking a detour for so we're gonna go irrigation riding into the wheel then into currency and then into apprenticeship 
and it actually gives us a little bit of time too on top of that to get ancient walls which we want to actually get the defensive tactics civics before we even do that so that we can throw in i'm just gonna call it limes and i'm always gonna call it limes i don't care if it's lime or lime or fucking whatever it's the limes policy card here on the game of grounds channel but once we get the limes policy card then we'll build ourselves a set of city walls too just to boost that or we might say fuck it and just like power research through it but that's the plan anyway um okay so continuing on our merry way here they still don't have walls which makes me want to just attack them a bit to get some experience like i'm pretty sure they're gonna have walls next turn or something like that but we'll take a little bit of xp while we can get it there and then kind of retreat with our tail between our legs once they get walls up like they just did god i'm looking fucking intelligent in this game well i mean there should be an asterisk on that right i'm looking as intelligent as i can be okay so we got our policy cards there so we can go ahead and switch them like we talked about we're going to be going straight for political philosophy which will be a nice pickup in three turns we'll be able to switch into oligarchy which will give us plus four combat strength plus we'll get 20 percent experience for like extra experience for combat and even better is it opens up the policy card slot that's going to let us slot in strategos in order to get extra great general points because we want to get a great general going real quick here uh speaking of that let's actually well hold on before i forget this let's go ahead and switch these policy cards right now we're gonna go ahead and put he'll come back in for the 30 percent towards builders um and then we're definitely keeping a go gay on still as we don't have enough horses to even consider uh building any right um Oops, confirm policies, right? He'll come in and the go gay. All right. Uh, now that that's out of the way, Jesus apparently likes me. The volcano hasn't destroyed my settlers yet, so let's get this guy the fuck out of the way. Uh, and hopefully next turn we'll be able to chop that tile before the, the volcano destroys it. Uh, in the meantime, this guy has only one build left, actually. She has. Because I got, what, one two chops it's gonna be five turns till that's ready you know what we'll send this guy um yeah he'll we'll, he's got two charges so we'll build that and chop that forest which means this will work out well right we only have one build unfortunately we won't be able to get that coca up and running with this guy but does this one have enough yeah, he has two builds, so this works out. We'll top that and improve the coca. Yeah. Beauty. Almost like I planned it. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and retreat this guy for dear life. And... We'll take another shot with the archer. Get the promotion there. Meanwhile, this guy's gonna run for dear life. We're gonna fortify to heal up there. pull our vampire back into the city here and run with the builder okay and we got the swordsman here you know what i should have left the builder there oh well okay so we got the pasture up here we're gonna go ahead and get the spices online in order to get more combat strength and have the actual luxury units to sell too. Especially now that we know that it doesn't fuck us over with our combat strength boost for selling them. 
Uh, unfortunately, the Kree's still not willing to pay us anything decent. We got the promotion. We're gonna we're staying in range intentionally. Um, actually, you know what? Let's take the promotion here. I'm gonna go into garrison for the plus 10 combat strength when you're in districts and we're gonna keep the archer inside of districts when we're attacking cities if we can um but what i was just trying to say is we're keeping him in range of the city intentionally to give them another victim to shoot at um that hopefully they choose over <laughs> our other units that we're trying to retreat and keep alive here so he's gone I think this Eagle Warrior is going to make it. We're at least out of range of the Swordsman now, which is a good thing. Um, I think what we do, though, is move the Builder here to attract the Swordsman, and then we'll fucking wall up him next turn. Uh, meanwhile, here, God's still on my side. We're going to go ahead and chop this... You know what? Do I want to chop the government plaza? I kind of do. Because the sooner we chop the government plaza, the sooner we can actually chop swordsmen for like next to nothing, which would give us essentially like two swordsmen here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's chop that in. Oh, I should have had a fucking thing queued up here for the extra production flow. That was a mistake. Uh... But yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and, and finish the builder. We only have one turn left anyway. Um, and in the meantime, kid, keep the settler heading heading down towards where we're going to settle there. Uh, and this one can get the fuck away from the volcano. So now I don't have to even think about that anymore. Okay, there we go. We got another luxury resource up and running. Even though we're going to have a second version of, of it up here. It just gives us more shit to sell. Um... And how are we doing loyalty wise? Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> oh, now I'm actually torn. Do I go for black marketeer right away anyway? Or do I get another Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with Pingala. Actually, not Pingala. Hold on. You promotions. Which is the one that gives the city loyalty. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. It's been a while since I fucking played this game. Deal with it. Yeah, we want to go with Garrison Commander eventually here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up Victor. That's fine. Yeah. We'll go ahead and pick up Victor. What we're going to do, we're going to grab Victor. Send him there now. Helps deal with the, the loyalty situation there. So we're all good in that in that camp. And we have Magnus here. We just won't be able to chop out a lot of units that require strategic resources for the rest of the city. But that's fine. Like, we can chop out a couple of archers and... Yeah. It is what it is, really. Not to mention, we could actually chop out our fucking, um, whatchamacallit. Wait a second. Why can't we build the next building for our government plaza? Seatbelts, everyone! Am I fucking retarded? Oops. I'm not supposed to say that word. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, it is what it is. Okay, fucking... Oh, this is painful. What am I trying to think of? Uh, war... Okay, we'll just look straight on the government plaza. Yeah, Warlord's Throne. Why can't I build this? Like, do I have to wait until next turn? I don't think so. Right? <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. 
I don't know. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and let's move on. We'll take a look next turn and see if it's there. Nice. They fell for it. They attacked our builder. We got writing. Let's take a look. Oh, we... Ah! That's what it is. It's fucking political philosophy. You, political philosophy will unlock the uh, the warlord's throne there. So, yeah, that's what it is. All right, so let's get this guy over to the next tile so he's ready to chop. Uh -huh. This guy's going to head up to improve there. We do have this builder here too, so since Magnus is around, we might as well just say fuck it and chop. And this guy's coming over to chop that last tile there. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and attack here. I don't think our vampire dies. But that'll weaken the swordsman enough that we can attack with this one and kill it pretty quick. And we should still be able to handle a double attack from the encampment and the swordsman. And then pull back the following turn. Uh, meantime, let's try and hide our weak eagle warriors here and just kind of pull them back out of the way. Ooh, I can't resist the urge to try and get a free build <laughs> from their slinger, <laughs> but I don't want to sacrifice my upgraded unit, so I'm going to have to resist the urge. Um, it is what it is. Yeah, you know what? I don't even think I want to take the hit from the encampment. Now that, like, my eagle warriors will be completely out of range here. I don't want to hang around and get pinned in. Like, between the slinger, the the city walls, and the spearmen. Well, yeah, we're just going to take off. Okay, we got spices up and running. Let's take a look and see if anybody wants to buy them. Broke boy wants them, but yeah, I'm not having any of that. Uh, meanwhile, we finished the builder here. We got to wait till next turn before we can start on the warlord's throne there. So we'll wait anyway and just uh, get a turn put into monument. Meanwhile, he's still broke. And we're definitely not getting rid of our iron anyway. Okay, so I was right. We we were able to tank the shot. However. Okay, let's go ahead and do this real quick here and get into oligarchy right away. We're going to put strength T goes in and... Hold on. Before I actually choose this, let's go ahead and check first of all, or first of all, on the great people situation. And we definitely need to put some work into getting our great general there for sure, which that policy card will help. I just wanted to see how close we were to actually getting it first. Uh, but what I really actually wanted to check for which I'm going to have to think about for a minute because I'm having a brain fart. Ah, I remember now. I wanted to check how long it takes to build this Warlord's Throne. 12 turns. I'm just trying to figure out... The reason I, I want to know how long for the Warlord's Throne is I'm trying to figure out how long it until we get our next uh, Governor promotion so that Magnus will then have the Black Marketeer promotion and we can chop lots of, of units. Um... Yeah, because it's going to be a while there. Uh, next, anyway, while we're here, we're heading to military training next, which means uh, games and recreation is on our list there. I wouldn't mind an envoy from mysticism first, though, so we'll actually grab that. Speaking of envoys, let's take a look here and see. Send a trade route. Send a trade route and trigger the Eureka for sailing. Well, we should definitely be able to send trade routes. Uh, so, what is that? Wolin and Garzaga or Gazag Gazagarmu? But we got time. We're putting in Strategos. We, we were going to do that the whole time. I was trying to figure out 
what I was going to do with the military policy card, whether I want to put maneuver in or conscription. That's what I was trying to figure out. And so we're going with conscription there. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to leave ill come in towards builders. I think, hold on one second. Let me double check. It's just, you want to make sure that you're, you're choosing the right policy cards. And yeah, we're, we're building builders in two cities here. I thought we fixed the loy loyalty problem. I guess it's going to be a couple turns before it's completely resolved and they start producing shit again. But, but yeah, anyways, Ilkum's still the right choice. I think I was just trying to think about whether I want to put urban planning in or not. Uh, but yeah, so a go gay conscription, Ilkum and Strategos is going to be our path forward here. We got the plus four combat strength now, which will definitely help our situation a little bit with Korea here. Uh, meanwhile, we definitely want to get the swordsmen out of the way so they can recoup. And now if we move, we have the promotion so we can actually just move back with the swordsmen. Take that promotion. We're going to go with commando for the plus one movement. And then we're gonna leave the builder here to kind of rinse and repeat. And everybody else can heal up here though. We're gonna pull this guy back, shift this guy over and move him into the territory. And we do have the money to upgrade and the iron actually, but I think it would be better to upgrade this guy first because he has more health. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then in the meantime here, I don't think the heavy chariot has enough movement to go through hills and attack onto a hill. So let's go ahead and take a shot here at the spearman. And then now we want to definitely switch out of the monument before chopping, but we're going to go for warlord's throne. Actually, before we do that, let's go and chop out two more archers. So we're going to go archer and then we're going to put a Q on. Chop out another archer. I wouldn't mind a traitor. But apparently we already have one. I forgot. Oh yeah, that's how we got the envoy last time. See, it's been a couple days since I played, so I'm not exactly on top of it but uh anyway so yeah two archers there and then after that a battering ram and then warlord's throw that's gonna be our our method of attack here so let's go ahead and start chopping so there's that archer Chop this. Hopefully it'll bring it down to one turn. Nice. Which will work out. And then we'll chop the battering arm with that builder next. And with this dude's last charge. I really don't care about gold. So we're not going to get plantation on the bananas. We'll go ahead and build a mine. Uh, I just think the extra food and production is the better better route to go. Like, we're already going to have... Yeah, I just think it's the better route. Nice. They fell for our little trap with the builder again here. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that while we can. Now... Oh, they have another swordsman. See... Yeah, because of that encampment, we actually, they can just have that builder for now. That's fine. We'll get it back in, in a minute here. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to shift our archer out of the way of their chariot here. Let's go ahead and sell stuff to get some more money so we can upgrade it. Uh, do people value that yet? They don't. Kree will give us 14 bucks for our borders. And... He's too broke. He only has 51 
but you know what whatever i'll do it again just because the 30 the 31 here will give us enough for another upgrade so whatever it is what it is we'll upgrade this guy here oh do we not have oh shit i miscounted oh well whatever we'll upgrade the next turn and we'll fortify there and just stay healing with all our troops back here get these archers closer to the combat and chop battering ram one turn left that's nice okay so they tried to attack our swordsman that's fine we healed up we got another envoy now from getting mysticism there so let's go ahead and grab suzerainship of woolen which is nice because in case you don't know like i know i talked about the last episode but in case you weren't here just forget they have a sick bonus where we're gonna start earning great general points for destroying enemy civilizations units right so that is nice and we want to go ahead and get kabul back too real soon um that actually might have been the better choice come to think of it but hindsight's 2020 right uh in the meantime let's see here yeah fuck it whatever it is what it is i honestly that was a mistake though i should have actually got um kabul back under our thumb so that we would have got more experience but i mean earning points towards a great general is not a bad situation to be in anyway so it is what it is i want to double check is that only hold on let's see here is that only when we attack them i don't think so hold on when we defeat a unit yeah so even if they attack us we still defeat them which is perfect so this guy can just go ahead and fucking kill himself uh meanwhile here we're gonna remain fortified with that eagle where we actually have enough cashless or no we don't have we need one more turn before we have the iron for that which is fine we'll heal that guy still and just keep coming closer with our archers meanwhile this archer will actually pull back here civic wise we're headed towards games and recreation We got 10 turns left on the warlord's throne that's actually pretty decent because it's going to take us a while to conquer our next city anyway we got to get the battering ram forward and deal with their army here um but yeah now that we got all that shit done we don't need magnus to be there at all uh it will be nice to switch him up here to do chops shortly however for the meantime i think it's better to move him down to our second city where we've been getting builders anyway uh how many turns seven turns for a builder there five for one here yeah we're not gonna waste you know what hold on let's check because so i really want to get a great general how many turns ten turns I'm just trying to think our our production here kind of sucks ass now because we chopped everything away so it would be good for us to actually get a builder first it'll put off that warlord's throne for a minute but that's fine us getting a builder is going to allow us to actually get some production quickly because this guy only has one charge left this charge is going for coca so one more builder will be will be good there we're going to move magnus down to our second city which will give us time to work on another builder here. Uh, so how many chops are we gonna have here? We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five good ones, right? So three builds, another builder would, would be six, which means we can build one of these pastures right away.
You know what? Fuck it. Ah, never mind. They ran away with, with our builder. We can't really get it back fast. Yeah, so I'm only going to improve one of these pastures for now. Because we want to be able to chop this out as quickly as possible. And move Magnus to the front line to the next city. Um, and that's more important than getting the all of these tiles up right away. And then building another builder. Because it'll just fuck the timing right up. Uh, meanwhile, here... We still can't produce anything, but I'll just leave it on a builder, I guess. And we got our battering ram, so might as well start bringing that towards the front. Nice. We got the great people points there. I don't know if you saw it in the, in the green or not, but if we take a look at our great people, you can see that we are down to seven turns now. And we were at 10 the previous turn, so we actually got plus two turns knocked off that great general for that swordsman killing itself on us. Now, meanwhile... We're moving up here with these, but that's not what I was talking about. I was just thinking for an extra second. I was going to say, meanwhile, I'm trying to decide whether or not I kill the spearman with our eagle warrior to try and get another builder. If I'm just trying to decide whether that's worth it to sacrifice. Yeah, you know what? I think I think it is really. Um however what we're gonna do is swap our vampire with a swordsman so that then the vampire also gets the plus one combat strength for being next to the dead unit. So we'll kill that. We got the extra great general points there, which is nice. We're going to fortify our vampire. And we'll move this spearman down. And take a shot at the chariot. And since our population is already big, like it's at seven because we had that surplus promotion, it's more important, in my opinion anyway, to upgrade the Plains Hills first so we just get overall more production. Normally, I suggest Grassland Hills because the 2-2 two, two for the mine is just good to help a city grow, but we're already there, right? Uh, speaking of being already there, though, because we are at seven, let's go ahead and lock in the price on our campus. And we're gonna pick the plus four here. Even though the volcano is there, I'll just fucking deal with it, basically. Uh, uh, maybe, you know what, no. I'm gonna think twice about that. We'll just, we'll get a plus three campus. We'll be happy with our plus three campus that rarely gets damaged. And plus it leaves, also leaves us that tile there which will be a nice yield tile once this volcano starts shitting all over the place. So I think that's a good route to go. Uh, meanwhile, before I forget, let's go ahead and switch back into the builder. Okay, nice. So our eagle warrior actually didn't die for the cause, which is what we like to see. Um, uh, meanwhile, we are going to flip flop our swords. So oh, hold on a second. Let me think about this for a second. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Meanwhile, we're going to flip flop our vampire here. So he gets close to the kill. And now we're going to attack the chariot with all three of our archers which should kill it god willing and then our eagle warrior can run onto the hill to not be next to the swordsman so let's go ahead and attack with our full strength archers first to deal the most damage there we go we didn't even have to use our second one here so we can actually just 
sit there and heal up with that guy pull back and meanwhile now we might as well get this builder to go camp out where we're going to be chopping so speaking of which we're going to need to buy some tiles do we have anything to sell yet why do you have to be so fucking broke man Wait. jesus Yeah, 72 gold, not a chance in hell. Clearly, he doesn't want it that, that much. And they don't value our diplomatic favor yet, so it is what it is. That's fine. So, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and buy that one tile there while we can afford it. And our builder will sit there waiting. All right. All right. Let's get this. <laughs> Sorry, I might stop. <laughs> you wouldn't know it because there was an edit, obviously, but I just went to the bathroom and boy, that felt good. All right. Um, anyway, <laughs> on that friendly note, let's continue on here. Okay. Um, pum, 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 pum. All right, what I'm going to do, we're going to move our vampire here. I do believe our archer can come in and hit this guy. Which means next turn, no matter who they choose to attack, they'll die. This guy can come back into our territory and start healing up a little bit better. And that archer can heal still. And this guy gets even closer. And yeah. There we go. We got some more great general points there. Now they are coming up after us with a slinger there, which is kind of cute if you ask me, but... I'm just worried if I kill the slinger with my vampire and advance that they might be strong enough to kill my vampire in one shot. So I think what we do is hold on. Let's see here. We're going to move. We're not going to let this catapult sit here and attack us anyway so we're gonna have to come out well this swordsman's healed up anyway so we'll head over there with both of the swordsmen even though they'll hit us we have to kind of deal with that at at the moment uh in the meantime let's get this eagle warrior into the city to, to heal up faster and then we can come forward hit them with that guy come forward here too but because we cross the river we won't be able to hit them there unfortunately um meanwhile though our battering ram's pretty fucking close here so we can kind of start going after the bottom city here once we get these extra two swordsmen i think um is their campus still completely pillaged yeah it is how Oh, and the mine is. They haven't even recovered any of them. Shite. No fun. And that mi mine still kills too. Well, that's a little bit sad, to be quite honest. But all right. Uh, we're going to leave our vampire there to heal. Actually... We'll move him over this way. And we'll start getting a little bit closer with the batting ram. But quite frankly, I don't want a chance like the vampire getting destroyed and us losing our batting ram at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, though, we got a great general. So let's get that guy over there. 
and we finish our builder here. Let's go ahead and start on the Warlord's Throne next. And use this builder to... Actually, you know what? Since we're already here and it's closer, it makes more sense to, like, mine that, mine that, and then mine that one last. I think just in the overall speed of things. Uh, meanwhile, we have one more turn before Magnus is established there. Uh, gives us a little bit more time to earn some money and in a perfect world. Why are you trying to nickel and dime me, Kree? Clearly don't want it very much. They all don't want that. Nobody else wants my quarters. I, I don't feel appreciated, to be completely honest with you. All right, Magnus is established. And unfortunately, we don't have the maneuver policy card in because we stuck with conscription, but that's fine. Um, this will allow us to chop out a lot of horses once we get him ready in eight turns at the next place that we're chopping from. So what we're gonna go and do is chop ourselves a swordsman and then just queue up the builder after that there's a lovely Builder, we got one charge left here on this guy, so we'll go head over that away. And the swordsman can start on his merry way to the front. Uh, meanwhile, the slinger is about to die, so let's grab another combat strength with our vampire here. And now that there's not really anything over here to attack the vampire i will put the battering ram with him just because ultimately like he is our strongest unit right because he has the 35 combat strength plus all the other stuff from us killing people uh meanwhile Let's start shifting these two archers down along the outside pathway here so that they can kind of be in a better position once we start moving our main moral. Oh my fucking English, man. Like, oh. okay. So that they can be in a better position once we start moving our melee units in to take the city of Guanju. There we go. All right. Take a deep breath. Let's move forward. Serenity now. Serenity now. And the reason I'm moving him backwards there is actually just so he heals a little bit faster inside of our territory. Inside of our territory. It's still going to take us a minute to upgrade this Eagle Warrior and that one. And for our archers to get in a better place. So we might as well be kind of healing more efficiently. Clearly we don't have anything here that we can pillage near the city to get him back his health healing faster. So we might as well have him doing the best we can kind of, right? Uh, okay, anyway, this guy fortified to heal. And let's start smashing the catapult here. It's a shame we can't get more combat strength for the vampire, but with the encampment and the city walls, I just don't want him getting continually fucking hammered. So we'll go ahead and do that. Got some air score for it too, which is nice. Um, 
we'll move forward with this guy a little bit here. And then we're going to be pulling our swordsmen back. The only reason we pushed forward there was to take care of the catapult. We are definitely leaving that encampment and going to take this city first before we swing in. All right, we finished the monument up here. So let's go ahead and start on a builder. The reason behind that is I want to get a builder going because we're going to be chopping lots of units up there eventually, like it in the near future. Uh, meanwhile, here, our trade route finished. So let's go ahead and hold on one second before I fuck this up. Wasn't there two that wanted it? Oh, it was already woolen. Okay, never mind. I didn't, I didn't mess that up. Okay, yeah, we'll send it to Woolen. Or actually, you know what? We're already the suzerain of them, even though that would give us an extra one, which would be whatever. By us going ahead and sending it to Gazagarmu, if we can find a place where it's available to reach there anyway, we'll get the plus one production in the capital and in every city with a barracks or stable when producing units by having a, an, another city-state under, like, you know what I'm trying to say. Or at least I hope you do. So, uh, let's take a look here. Why can we not re- Oh, because we haven't, unfortunately, cleared away that fog of war there. All right, so what we'll actually do is just put that to sleep for a second. Our settlers over here anyway so they have a higher sight range we'll just pop over that way I mean it looks like there's some good chops over here anyway so we'll we'll consider settling there but either way we'll knock that fog of war out quickly uh, I do see that barbarian scout there so we're gonna run around the mountain don't worry I won't start singing with <laughs> chill be okay I just I'm I just about did start saying <laughs> she'll be coming around the mountain but anywho i'll spare you that so don't worry uh okay so i don't know looking at this i don't know whether persia's coming after us or korea let's go ahead and see if we can make a deal to get him to join our war and oh yeah they they denounced us so the answer is no that's fine. But now we got to be aware that he likes this sneak attack and they're coming down towards us. So chances are he's going to attack us. So I want to be prepared for that. But considering they only have like a chariot, a warrior and three archers, I think we're, we'll do okay. We just want to be ready essentially more or less, right? Uh, in the meantime, though, let's definitely get out of the range of this encampment so we'll pull you back there i guess technically we're still in the range we're right there fuck they placed a good encampment i have to say congratulations um meanwhile we do have a promotion on this guy we'll pull back You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually, I'm gonna move my great general forward to give them incentive to move forward with the catapult to clear it out, which will then let us ambush their catapult. And it, I mean, the great generals will only to get moved to there because we can just like, it'll go back over yonder, but we'll just teleport it right back to John Chu the same turn. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and prepare for this. We're going to let the vampire heal for one turn in our territory. And then as long as they do take our great general, we'll move the vampire there next turn so that it's or actually, you know, this, is, this is smarter. We'll move you, move him there. In 
keep moving these guys down. They, I don't think they can hit us there because there's a hill in between us, but I could be wrong. So we're going to find out together. Uh, meanwhile, here, I guess we don't have enough iron, so we can't really do shit. However, I'm going to move closer to this archer in case they decide they want to get fresh and sneak attack us. The closer we are to them, the better off we are in the long run because we'll be able to kill them faster and maybe get us some ourselves some more builders which ultimately wouldn't be a really bad thing in the grand scheme of things so in the meantime i'm gonna fortify until healed there let's start getting these mines over yonder in the capital ah they're at war did i fucking get them to, to join the war last time and i just completely forgot about it i would not put that past me i really would not so, either way, they're not sneaking attack us, so we can move our eco warrior out of the fucking way there and move it back towards the, the real front where we should be going. That might help. Uh, Alright, we got one turn until currency. That'll be nice. We're getting closer to getting mana at arms when we get apprenticeship. Speaking of which, I think when we build this next mine coming up here, that will boost apprenticeship, which will be nice. We have another builder down here in the second city. Let's see if we can get any more money for selling shit. Uh, yeah, I'll take $130, actually. It's not that much, but it's better than a kick in the nuts. And finally, uh, they're starting to value our diplomatic favor, so we'll definitely sell them some of that. All right, in the meantime, now we have more cash. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that fact, and we'll buy a chop there, and buy that chop, and buy that chop. All right, so we're in a good position there. We got three chops there. This guy only has one build left, so might as well send him to that forest, and we'll send the, our good builder over here to get started. I really wish it had timed out better, though. In fact, I think we'll wait. Is there... Fuck. Yeah, we'll wait. We're not going to waste the chops. It didn't time out the best, but, I mean, it is only six turns, so it is whatever it is. Uh, after this, what we're, what we're going to do is start on yet another builder there, there so that we can get the improve... Or, sorry. So that we can get the production built back up in the city after we finished completely basically raping their tiles but uh all in the okay so i don't think the city can hit us i think that was the catapult but i'm not 100 percent sure still either way though we are gonna move forward and move on with our lives we're gonna come down here we can pillage this tile to heal back up after they attack us next turn and then we'll scoot down and be out of their reach after. But we'll be in a good position to jump back into things once our melee troops come down. Unfortunately, the catapult decided to be a pussy. I mean, that was the smart choice. So I guess I kind of got to give them that. Um, but that's a little bit unfortunate. It would have been nice to be able to ambush them like we wanted to. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and get this eagle warrior to swap positions with the swordsman the reason being is that we want oh i forgot fuck sakes we're great the, the swordsman to switch with the vampire okay so we want the vampire in there to heal up faster what i was gonna say is that we want the swordsman to heal up faster because it's a stronger unit and it's more worthwhile in our comp or conquest however the promotion will heal this up so again we're taking commando for the movement but they're boosted this way our vampire will get a little bit more healing and we're going to start moving down towards the city over there pretty quickly here uh in the meantime let's just continue on our merry way we'll keep our great general there just for a little bit of vision actually you know what we'll move the great general down here to help that archer over there.
fuck's sakes. All right. Well, that wasn't the smoothest of ideas. I guess it was a little bit too damaged, and he couldn't couldn't handle the shot from the catapult and from the city. So let's go ahead and get this archer. Fuck. That makes me cry. I don't like to use units. All right, let's pull the archer back out of range. We'll go ahead and switch there. We need to pull back this guy back and get him out of the way of the <laughs> fucking encampment and the catapult. So that might be a good idea. Uh, meanwhile, this guy is healed up. Let's pull him forward towards the front. These guys are ready. So let's start. Oh, that fucking archer. You know what? We'll wait till we'll wait till next turn, and then we'll start moving. Okay, so I think that's fog busted enough. Let's take a look and go back to our trader here. Yes, it is perfect. All right, there we go. We got that. So that's another production towards units in the capital there. We got five turns until the warlord's throne is ready. You know what? In that case, actually, I think it makes sense to spend this guy's charge. Yeah. Because that's going to be three more charges. So we have three here, right? So at six, seven total, and we only have one, two, three, four that we're going to chop. Five, maybe. So say five. And we have two. Yeah, that works out. We have two more pastures to improve. So let's go ahead and do that now. It'll get us some more food and some more culture in that city. And waiting the extra turn. Oh, we'll put it on production focus for now. Oh, there you go. Five turns. We don't even have to wait at all for, uh, for it to line up there. So it works out well. All right, we got 26 turns to go until I'm precious shit. I know that sounds real bad right now, but we're going to be getting campuses up and running pretty quickly here. And actually, so, never mind. It, we're still at three pop. I, I was thinking to put a campus down in Chalco here, but that's not quite on the agenda yet. Uh, what I was going to say is we're about to conquer some more campuses. So... That'd be good. And meanwhile, now they're finally actually producing shit in Jonju. So we're going to repair the campus because we can. All right. So meanwhile, we're getting close to actually settling this city. And here, I think there's more force down this way. So we're going to head down yonder. I swear, if that fucking scout pillages shit or steals my builder, I'm going to cry like a little girl. All right, let's get that one up online. down there so we'll at least be out of the way hopefully he won't see us um okay so we are gonna shift this guy down towards there continue moving him down so where he can heal up 
This guy is healed, but we definitely aren't going to go with Eagle Warriors into that fight. Uh, we'll leave our our vampire there, Gamer Gramps, healing up, and we'll just skip this, this guy's turn for now. Uh, meantime, though, we will actually move with the swordsman. And you know what? We'll move the great general here to see if we can kind of lure them to come out. Because then we'd be able to attack with the two archers and the swordsman. And should be able, I think, to, to, to clear the um, to clear the catapult in one turn. All right, we met Kublai. Which is great because it gives us somebody to sell off some of our shit to. So let's go ahead and try to do that right now as quickly as we can. He's only going to give us 75 bucks for that though, which is a joke. So we're not going to do that. Uh, but meanwhile, we will sell another freaking thingamabobber to the free there. Diplomatic favor. Uh, in the meantime, let's continue moving down south. And again, we're settling that city literally just to chop out an army. Okay, so now that they did come out, let's zoom in here. Cross the river. And we'll also get across the river with our general. Hopefully be able to take it with the swordsman. Nice. And again, we'll be able to ha get handle the city ranged attack with our swordsman and get down there to pillage to get our health back pretty quickly. If we don't even just get a promote. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. We're not that close to it. Either way, we finished games and recreation. Let's open a civic street quickly here. We want to get towards military training as quickly as we can. And the reason behind this is getting the raid policy card. It is huge. Getting 50% extra raids from pillaging is epic in, in and of itself. Not to mention veterancy is handy too when you want to be actually building like encampment districts and the stuff inside them. And when you're wanting horse and iron early, equestrian orders can be nice to toss in. Not to mention, it gives you an envoy, and on top of that, the statue is Zeus too, which is a decent wonder. I mean, three archmen, three spat. Oh my fucking English! Here we go again. Okay, grants three archers, three spear. Okay, grants three archers, three spearmen, and the battering ram, plus fifty percent production towards anti-cavalry units. Unfortunately, I don't really give a shit about anti-cavalry units. And ultimately, like three archers and three spearmen and a battering ram. I don't really think the production's worth it. But I mean, I guess if you had like a freaking one of the great engineers or something to do it, it might be worth it. But I just at this point in the game, I don't think it's worth it to get three archers, spearmen and that. And I mean anti-cav units what anti-cav unit would, would i be wanting to build i guess does man at arms count i don't think so right yeah i think it's only sp like spearmen and, and pikemen and shit and, and whatever if i'm wrong let me know in the comments i'm more than capable of handling you call me a dumbass it is what it is, right? All right. Anywho, uh, so we are heading towards there and then mercenaries after that, right? So military training first then mercenaries. And in the meantime, he'll head down there. Oh, 
I can't. Maybe he won't. Let's start moving our shit to actually kill those people. Uh, can't move the vampire all the way there because of the great general and we have the support unit of the battering ram. So you might as well take advantage of that and heal for one more turn. Meanwhile, we're still one turn away from having 20 iron in order to improve that guy. So we'll go ahead and wait. All right, three turns to go on the warlord's throne so that's coming up quick yeah eat my ass buddy you too all right all right the magic of editing the princess has his pillow or her pillow maybe i should say Ugh. holy god or maybe her pillow i should say i also grabbed a bite to eat so that feels better i'm not as hangry as i might have been um okay so let's continue on our merry way here let's go and move our general up front okay they have another catapult here again so let's try and do the whole like ring a roll or however that you technically are supposed to say that <laughs> where we lure them out and then wallop them all right so let's get this guy down yonder so he's in a good place to go across the river next turn even if they don't come out um You know what? Let's pull this guy back. We'll actually get them to flip flop. He can come out to the front line. You can come here so you're nice and safe and charge up in our territory a little bit here. In the meantime, we'll take our promotion. We're going to take Folly with this archer. This one will just leave on alert status because hopefully that catapult comes out to play. In the meantime, let's get this Eagle Warrior into our city so he can heal up faster. We'll pull this guy back, switch him with the vampire, upgrade him. And it's almost like we know what we're doing. We're fooling him. Okay, let's grab this city and I think in that city we start with the campus right away we definitely need to get our fucking science going we're kind of behind behind times on that a little bit but we will catch up like once we grab this city he he will walk in English oh my god <laughs> okay all right Whew, let's try not to blow our gasket keep going we still have two turns to wait here until the warlord's throne so let's go put our builder to sleep hopefully that scout doesn't come in and pillage our tiles there yeah yeah whatever oh yes sir yes i will take your 20 iron for 24 of the shit i don't plan to use anyway ouch that's painful they double tap us I don't think they did. I think that was just the city. All right. That was kind of hurt. Hurtful. What a vindictive fucking city. All right. This, all jokes aside, this actually works out well for us. Let's go ahead and... Let's think about this for a second. Okay. This guy, he can make it to the city. So first step, you come out. You get to the city so you can heal. We're going to keep moving forward with our vampire.
and the swordsman. Now, this guy will pull back so we don't take... Oh, we can't. We can't jump across the river. Son of a bitch. Okay, we'll just heal. Fingers crossed we don't lose the Eagle Warrior, but I mean, realistically, I'm not going to lose too, too much sleep over it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and smash this catapult with that archer. Uh, we can't hit it. Like, if we move here... I don't think we can hit it because I think this hill would block us and I don't want to needlessly take a shot from this city before we have to. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Yeah, we can't. I was right. But we'll move on to the, the corn there so we can pillage it for our health if the city goes after after us. Um, okay, in the meantime... Fortify until heal here. I know we were going to go across the river, but we'll actually wait until next turn to either do that or run to the corn to pillage. Because I just thought twice about it. I really don't give a shit about my archer. Uh, we'll just pull it back out of range and then go from there. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a smash at that catapult. Unfortunately... It wasn't enough. It's the story of my life, but we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, meanwhile, we got three charges on a builder here in the new city. And I think we just save it for now. And so we'll move him over yonder so he's ready for chops. And we'll start another builder. Oh, actually, we'll start a campus. Um... We need 50 bucks to start a good one. So let's go about getting ourselves 50 bucks. Uh, no. And it looks like we're shit out of luck. Oh, well. All right. Um, so in that case, you know what? Realistically, I just want the fucking campus. We'll just start a plus one campus instead I think it's more important to get our science going than to have a great campus it's just more important to have a campus and get a library and shit especially that city has decent production anyway so speaking of that let's put them on production focus actually I changed my, my mind we'll lock in the price of that but we're gonna quickly get one more builder so that we're ready for when we rotate Magnus over there. Uh, meanwhile, we got one on an envoy here, so I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. We're going to go ahead and that. Uh, ooh, suzerain ship, pound maker. That makes me cry. However, we'll get two error score points for breaking their su uh, breaking their suzerain ship. So we'll go ahead and do that now. At least I thought we used to. Used to. Did I? Did we not? Huh. Maybe not. Whatever. It is what it is, I guess. I could have sworn that. Or maybe it's just if you take it over. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Or maybe it just changed since... What fucking died? Your archer? Oh, rip. Oh, well. You heard what I said. I didn't really fucking care about target anyway. But Jesus Christ, that's powerful that the city wiped out an archer in, in one turn. Um, all right, then. Let's get this fucking city down as quickly as humanly possible. Now, we have 24 iron. So next turn, we can upgrade and get our last swordsman. We're going to go ahead. Oh, they improved their campus, which means we can pillage it for more science. And it heals our vampire at the same time. Let's go ahead. We'll destroy that. 
which works for me as far as I'm concerned. Um, we'll come here, pillage. Just fortify there until we get the battering ram. We're not doing shit. But in the meantime, let's sacrifice another archer to the city so that our swordsmen last for that much longer. And we'll just build some more archers after if we want them. Um, in the meantime, what was I going to do? We got the campus repaired, which is a big deal. And we want to start on a builder. Yeah, on a builder, because we will chop. So we might as well get that going now. And then in three turns, once I hit population four, we're going to put it back on a production focus so that we can actually produce shit quicker. Uh, in the meantime, we finally finished our warlord's throne. So that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And in the meantime, now, let's go ahead and get ourselves a trader. Did our trader get pillaged? Yes, it did. But that's okay, because we got the envoy we really wanted anyway. And how how close did it get? Oh, not even. That scout must have ate it for dinner. All right, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and grab our last mine there with that builder. Takes us down to three turns for the builder, which is kind of respectable. We got a nice... Oh, actually, I was going to say, we got a nice freaking campus... Or campus, Jesus. <laughs> wow. We got a nice freaking capital going there. But which led me to believe that... Or reminded me, we haven't got our campus yet. So let's not worry about the trader for now, since it's not really that important. And let's definitely go ahead and take the black market here promotion we've been waiting for that for a while now that we have it we can actually start chopping down yonder and go ahead we'll switch we'll do a queue up and we're gonna go horseman all right and let's go ahead and chop that Who's us two turns on the horseman but obviously we're gonna oops we're gonna finish our builder first here and we'll keep looking for those forests that i'm pretty sure are over there uh in the meantime we'll move him here and fortify until healed and next turn he'll go across to the other side yeah oh look the archer didn't die <laughs> that's always nice okay so we're gonna jump across there We are going to actually jump across here too. Because we want the majority of our units to be on this side of the river when we attack. So that we do the most damage to the city and take the least damage back. Uh, meanwhile though, we're going to move in closer with our vampire here, Gamer Gramps. And we're going to pillage the shit out of that campus next turn. So in the meantime, we'll just heal. And we'll move in closer with our swordsmen there. And then we'll move. Or should we take another shot with the archer? Yeah. I think we're just going to let the archer die. And we'll take another C shot there. So it'll preserve the strength of our actual attacking units. That we're going to ideally take that city over with. Uh, meanwhile. We're just going to hang out here for a minute. <laughs> with our fucking 
Uh, actually, no, you know what? We'll move there with the builder. Builder, We have a horseman coming anyway, so even if the scout takes our builder, we'll take it right back with, with the horseman the following turn. And the, the swordsman there from the city-state won't be able to reach our builder before the horseman does. Oh, shit. Unless they take the road. <laughs> well, fingers crossed. Or no. No, no. We're on a fucking hill. It, we should be okay. We should be okay. Famous last words, right? All right, rest in peace for the archer. As you can tell, I care so much about each and every one of my units. Speaking of which, I actually do care about the settler. So it is not a good thing to see the barbarian swordsman there. However, we can just go around the mountain again. <laughs> I'm so tempted to sing that fucking song. You know what? One, two, three, four. With five and six available. Fuck it. You know what? I'm just going to go settle on the horses. Okay, so here we finished the builder. We finished the horseman. Let's go ahead and... Oh! Fuck's sakes. I know why it didn't finish. I don't have the fucking pulse. Don't be like me. Don't forget to put policy cards in. God fucking damn it. I was wondering why the horse didn't just instantly get created. It's because I don't have manure it manure. That's how I'm playing, fuck. I don't have the maneuver policy card in, so I should have chopped a fucking swordsman and... Well, it is what it is. Yeah, don't be like Rams. Be fucking smart. Alright, anyway. I'll, I'll just deal with it. At least now... I'm not completely unaware of why I'm fucking screwing that up, but it is what it is. Okay. So, we're going to move here with that swordsman. Moving here will now put the city under siege. We'll come in. We can attack there, too. We are under the bonus of our... Uh, Great general there. Uh, meantime, let's go ahead and upgrade this guy now that we can afford it. And let's start the process of taking a fucking city. Okay, their walls are gone. hammer them with Game of Gramps. The next turn, we'll pillage with Gramps and take it with the Swordsman. Okay, meantime, uh, we cleared out that scout there. Let's go ahead and get this guy on his way up. We're not going to chop this turn. We'll have to skip turn and wait till I get the right policy cards in. Uh, but meanwhile, this guy's all healed up. I wonder if we can scoop in and steal that city before they take it. Okay, we're going to flip flop these two. We'll heal up him up for one more turn. Okay. 
take some science. Let's see how close we get to apprenticeship. It's not bad. Wait, is it? They built the library back. Okay, we're gonna wait. We'll wait. We'll just deal with... You know what? It can heal up a little bit. That's fine. Let's move this guy here. Like, we'll let it come out of, out of siege mode because I want to get out of range of the catapult. So we'll, we'll pull back here and heal. Heal you. And spend a turn healing there. Meanwhile, we're going to... Oh, we can't cross the river anyway. Okay, never mind. We're going to move closer with the general. And we'll get him across the river next turn. Ooh, crossbow. Nice. All right. So let's change policies. And we're going to get rid of Stratego's. We are going to put in raid and maneuver. So raid maneuver actually I don't want to be completely broke we'll replace a goge because we're going to stick with horses for now we barely have any iron anyway um, so we'll go maneuver raid Ilkham still, or, or should we switch to urban planning? Um, we're not building a builder anywhere except for Zhangzhou. So, yeah. Okay, so maneuver, raid, urban planning. I'm just trying to figure out personally whether the plus seven from conscription or the diplomatic lead. Oh, sorry, not the uh, charismatic leader. If I want to influence points more than the seven gold a turn. I think I want the influence points. Let me know in the comments what you think if I should have done something different if I should have went with the gold I mean my my thought process behind this is that the plus seven gold is nice yes yes we will need gold from to upgrade our units and stuff however we're not near any tech things that close we still have eight point eight turns before we can get mana at arms and before we upgrade to that level anyway we're going to be able to pillage more things. And on top of that, we have to wait or pretty much have to wait until we slot in the card that we get from um, from the mercenary civic. I can't think of the name, but anyway, the one that saves us the money when we upgrade. So anyway, we're going to get rid of Stratego. We're going to put in charismatic leader because I want to get some envoys here like i'd like another one in lahore for sure and i'd like to be able to take kabul because that's a great suzerain ship not to mention these other ones aren't bad either well the guards of gamu anyway lahore i don't have the faith so that to me is completely useless other than i mean obviously just the bonuses for a, a military city state okay Okay, then. All right, we have the right card in now. Correct? Correct. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to queue up a bunch of horses. And now it's horsey time. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do too, I think, 
now that I'm thinking about it, is I think we leave this, leave this city for our horses and just start moving our Melu units over towards the capital now. Except for I'm gonna pillage this. So we're gonna actually break the formation. Oh, I forgot about the, the crossbowmen. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna stay in formation. I don't have any money or any money, any, I don't have any money to upgrade into man at arms at this point. So it really defeats the purpose to kind of get a whole, like boost it and have it waiting there. Other than the plus one production from the minor point improvement, which would be nice. Don't get me wrong. However, we can still pillage that when our horses finally get here and we take the city. I think it's way more important to one, kill this crossbowman as quickly as we as we possibly can, which having the vampire there is going to make it easy to do. Not to mention getting another combat strength when we do kill it. Kill it. Um, however, the more I'm important thing is to actually get over and steal this city before Persia takes takes it or it is in my opinion anyway and at this point it's the only one that matters because I'm playing the game I mean don't get me wrong feel free to let me know in the comments if you think I made a mistake or whatever and I'm more than happy to listen and, and talk about it I just mean obviously at this moment I can't see into the future and read any comments to have a discussion about it and change my mind right okay uh let's move here we'll leave that horseman in the city for one more turn to heal up to full strength hopefully this crossbow okay i was gonna say hopefully it doesn't do too much damage and it didn't do any so that worked out perfectly let's go ahead and get our vampire over here which is nice because we're sitting on top of a tile that we can pillage in order to heal back up after the crossbows in the city and the encampment hurt us, right? So let's go ahead and plunder the trade route for some cash now. And I actually think that the might, or the might, sorry, the right option would be to let our swordsmen heal a little bit more here because we still have to wait for our other ones to get closer there so in the meantime we're going to come closer with our general and we'll heal here too because we're out of range of all their shit there um and then we'll we'll kind of move forward at the same time so we'll move here and there at least we have like forest and jungle there to help us with the sustaining the damage if they do attack us and meanwhile our cavalry is coming in too i feel like we're in fucking uh gladiator there with russell crow and our cavalry charges coming through the fucking forest and just oh the music you know what i'm talking about the yeah boys let's get this She'll be coming around the mountain. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just fucking having fun, but I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. Next turn, boys and girls. Nice. Nobody died. We did not hear any death bells. That is what I, I like to hear. Well, don't like to hear. You know what I mean. All right, let's chop out another horse. Make sure we have another horse. Yeah, we have plenty of them queued up. All right. Or actually. Yeah. So we'll go and do that. And then come back and we'll chop that rainforest there with his last charge. And then Magnus will move on to greener pastures. In the meantime, though, our cavalry is slowly arriving. I think we move to the hill with this one. Now.
the vampire pillages, gets me a bunch of gold, and heals himself up. And we want to stay in the forest, so let's stay protected. All oh, those fuckers are trying to build their wall back up. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, we don't have the baton around it? Well, oh well, it doesn't have a wall right now anyways. Okay, let's go ahead and attack with a swordsman here. Hopefully we can get a promotion in a turn or two. Our cavalry is almost there. We're, we're almost there. Let's move the great general up here. And this swordsman has a promotion. We're going to move forward with both of them. So they're under the purview of the general at least. And we'll fortify. All right. Fingers crossed, boys and girls. Ooh, oh, that hurts. All right. A gentle eruption somewhere. I don't even care. Take a breath, Tyler. Okay. All right. We got this. We got this. Okay. Let's get in close to the fucking city. It's now sieged. Get them in close. All right. Let's pull the swordsman back out of range. Step one. Okay. Step two, let's try and bait them. Oh, actually, you know what? Step two is let's kill this catapult with our vampire. Right? Because then we can pillage to heal. Hopefully we can survive. Oh, you know what? Maybe we might not be able to. They might be able to send our vampire back. And considering that we have the battering ram with us, I think that the better option is to actually pull back here with our vampire. And we'll try and take the encampment out first. I normally just go for the cities and like try and come around the backside. But I think in this situation that it would be best for us to do it this way. Um, yeah, let's move here with the swordsman, move there with the horseman, take the promotion, battle cry again, as we already talked about, and now we'll move, actually before we move, can we attack with the horses? No. I'm going to move over the river. In case they come with that catapult to hit the swordsman. Uh, and meanwhile, we'll move in there and attack. And now move there so he covers all of us. And we'll attack there. Sorry, I'm like waited with like bated breath here. <laughs> okay, anyway, we finished the builders there. So now let's definitely go on to the campus and we have the population. So let's also look at a commercial hub. However, we don't have any good location for it whatsoever. So maybe we wait and get a harbor. Yeah, I think that's the better better choice because uh, we want to get at least two harbors in order to boost something or other. I remember that much. Uh, yeah. Build, boost cartography. And then also steam power for the shipyards that we'll get at our two harbors. Right? So that makes sense. We'll get apprenticeship and then actually after apprenticeship when we unlock the boost to our mines industrial zones, and more importantly, our man-at-arms. We're then going to circle back and come up and catch some of these old ones. Um, but yeah, we could also look at building a water mill. And pretty soon, once we get defensive tactics for the Limes policy card, we'll definitely want to upgrade that too. So 
yeah, we're 10 turns away for that. All right, so we'll actually pull back one more tile here, and then we'll hang around until we're healed up with the scout, and then we'll manually take care of him, or take control, I should say. Okay, we got three air score for building a good campus. That's cool and all, but I'm more concerned with our war here. They're retreating their crossbowmen out of the encampment. Let's move our general over, which means our swordsmen can hit that unit if we wanted to. However, so can our horsemen, and let's fucking do that. And then we'll move this swordsman in. Take another smash at that. And unfortunately, we can't reach the crossbow in there. Um, okay, so we want we want to kill this city now and actually take it, which means we want to pillage that. So let's go ahead and quickly plan some science out. Um, okay, we'll take that boost to apprenticeship, and then. You know what? I don't think I'm going to build the ancient walls. Yeah. So we'll do apprenticeship. And put... Or no, I will get... Sorry. Okay. All right. Take a breath. I will get ancient walls. Or sorry. I will build walls to boost ancient walls. However, I'll pull out after we get the boost. But I don't think... It'll be enough. Like, I think we should be okay here with this pillage. So we'll go ahead and pillage now. Yeah, I was right. Perfect. Okay, it worked out. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so now that we have that, we can actually... Go ahead and attack this city here. Um, yeah, I don't mind killing it with this. Because that leaves our horsemen to be able to go after that crossbowman over by the city. So, we'll wham it with them and take the city here. Yes, we will keep the city. And then also, we should be about to chop here. Almost. Uh, I was getting excited. I was going to move Magnus over. But that's fine. We still got a few turns to deal with the rebellion there. That's all good. Meanwhile, now our cavalry, we didn't even end up using them. But that's fine. We're going to move this one here so we get the flanking bonus. And then we'll double team that crossbow next turn. Uh, meanwhile, here, though. Do I go after that? Or move into the jungle? I think we move into the jungle. I think that's the right play. And again, feel free to jump into the comment section and let me know how stupid I am. And, and like, just make sure to leave time stamp timestamps so that I can follow you and know exactly what you're talking about because I mean this is a long playthrough <laughs> and I don't have it all memorized off the top of my head so if you don't know how to leave a timestamp you would just do like uh whatever say this is like an hour and a half in you would go like one oh my god what's a dot dot uh <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm smart. Uh, this can't even be blocked. Or blocked. This can't even be blamed on me, me not playing Civilization in six years. What is... A, apostrophe? No, not apostrophe. Um, what is... Dot, dot. Seatbelts, everyone! Colon. Colon. It's a colon. 
Oh my god. I am such a special person sometimes. <laughs> We're rocking this short bus hard today. Holy fucking Christ. Okay. All right. Colon. Wow. Okay. All right then. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and we'll actually quickly finish up our monument for two turns before we jump and grab a library there in the capital. Um, our freaking culture is just as bad as our science. And I think the two turns really is not that big of a deal in, in a lot of ways. Okay, anyway. Um, we're going to find out if anything dies, I guess, when we hit next thing. I'm pretty sure they're going to kill our Game of Grabs. But I mean, let's be real. He kind of... He kind of deserves to die after having to actually go and take time out of his day to look up the word colon. Oh. All right, then. Here we go. What do you think? Am I going to die? Oh. Oh. Well, I think that was a swordsman. Catastrophic eruption, whatever. They killed a swordsman. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, a horseman. Okay, I can handle that. I honestly, cavalry to me is more expendable at this point than our melee because our melee all have promotions and that cavalry didn't. Um, okay, so with Gramps here though, we are going to. Stay here for the combat flanking and we'll attack the crossbow with our cavalry that apparently we don't care about. And then here, I guess I probably should have moved the great general to here before that. That would have been smooth. But you know, I'm just the best at this game. I don't make mistakes. I think mistakes are for weak people. And, um, yeah. I mean, I'm just, like, on top of shit. Like, all over the place. All right, anyways, I think we can pillage this when we move it here. I think we have enough movement because of the Great General. And we don't, so that was an epic failure. Are we on a hill here? Yeah, oh, okay, you you just don't see the hill because of the fucking theater square, which would have been nice to know, but whatever. It is what it is, as I've said like a billion times in this playthrough. All right, here. So, the swordsman's healthy enough that we can start moving towards the front. Now, I don't want that crossbow to kill my swordsman but i don't think i'm gonna reach it here because we're gonna try and sneak over here to pillage that farm and heal but if they don't kill my horseman i'm gonna move with the horseman to do it but i'm pretty sure between the city the encampment and you know what i should just fucking can i attack that encampment no i can't even do it that either um but yeah between the fucking two crossbows the city and the encampment that has a cunt hair of fucking walls left. Uh, yeah. We're gonna lose units this turn. But, okay. It is what it is. Where have I heard that before? I'm trying to think here. Anyways. Okay, I'm gonna heal that fucking swordsman up. We're gonna let this swordsman hang out there and heal too. Meanwhile, we'll bring the horseman up this way. The builder here. We're going to bring it with us. We're going to bring it forwards so that we can actually use it to bait out their their units there next turn. And meanwhile, our settler finally made it there. Let's go ahead and settle on the horses. And the first thing we're going to do is lock in the price of, of a campus. And again, we don't really have a good 
location here for a campus, so I don't care. We'll just build one, but I don't want to override a hill. So I'll override the wheat. Anyway, now that's locked in, we'll actually go and start with the builder. Rip. All right, that was two. That was the vampire. Can I teleport with him? No. Oh, I think I can teleport to vampire castles if I remember. But unfortunately, <laughs> there's no fucking vampire castle to teleport to. So it's going to be well. Now, I think actually before we get that, before we get the library, which we do want to get, we're going to get a trader and we're going to use the trader, trader to build a road so that Gramps can get there quicker. And we're going to let the old bastard heal up a little bit in, in the city bef before he starts his way make his way over he he can uh, take take the, the scenic route anyway let's chop this horseman here and then now we'll finally move Magnus and where do we have the most chops here only one good one there we got stone yeah he's gonna move to Guanju where we could use them anyways loyalty wise so We'll pop over there and then like i said we're gonna use this builder as a bait for their units there um fuck sakes all right so We're gonna move here. We're gonna. How come I can't move the fucking battering ram? Oh, it was like glitched out. It was in an escort formation with a fucking vampire. That's like a hundred miles away. All right, okay. This is fine. We should take out the the last of the walls that, there. They're gone, so it can't shoot at us anymore. Now we only have this city to deal with. Ever that city happens to have a fucking crossbow inside of it. Let's attack them there. I don't want to attack with a swordsman because. I think we'll win and then we'll be sitting here for them to pluck a saw. So we're just gonna hang tight with that swordsman. Oh never mind, I have zero movement anyway. <laughs> Whoa Wow, that's the logic behind what I would have done if I had movement to not use. Okay. Uh and I forgot to pillage the campus, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did forget to pillage the campus before we took the city. I'm on fire. All right. Oh, well, it is what it is. That's going to be like the fucking theme of this video. It is what it is. Okay, we'll move the swordsman here forward. At least it's on a hills and forest and we'll fortify it until healed. Hopefully that'll give us enough juice to take this out but it's not going to but we'll at least be able to damage them quite a bit and everything all of our units over over here are under the great general's umbrella so hopefully this crossbowman comes out of the city to get that builder and this crossbowman runs into the city to hide and doesn't kill any of our units but time will tell We're just going to put these builder, builders to sleep until we have time to bring Magnus over there eventually. And Gramps is supposed to be sleeping. Alright, meanwhile, we finished repairing the campus here. 
Oh, that's why we did pillage it. I'm not completely fucking retarded. Okay. Take it easy, Tyler. You can have a pat on the back. Okay. Uh, now that that's repaired, their library. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what they do. Nice. Even better. They didn't fucking run into the city with the crossbows. <laughs> they came out with them. Oh, they are as special as I am. Okay. So that's one way to play the game. All right. So first things first, we're coming in with our swordsman and we're going to kill that crossbow. Coming closer with our batting ram. And then. Oh, we don't actually have the combat strength left to kill them. All right, we can kill the catapult. I'm not sacrificing the horseman because it's not going to kill the fucking um, crossbowman in any way. However, yeah, no, and the horseman can't get there in time. Neither can the swordsman. So we're going to move the swordsman back to heal up. This horseman's going to move forward. This guy's going to zoom out of range of the city and hopefully pop in and pillage to heal there um, so it can get back into action quicker. In the meantime, we can move forward with the cavalry of there, and I'm actually going to leave the great general here too, in case they try to get it with the crossbowmen. That actually wouldn't be too bad in my opinion. And we'll move here along the road. And then we actually have the money. It's 150 bucks. It's a fucking tough pill to, pill to swallow without the upgrading card. Like this is the one I'm talking about where you get 50% disc discount for upgrading them. But we're so fucking far away that yeah, it's just time to bite the pill and upgrade. So we got 150 bucks for that. And ideally we be upgrading these double promoted units but instead we'll upgrade this double promoted unit and that's fine because these guys have to pull back if they don't die here all right so meanwhile here we could build a commercial hub but i think what i'll do is just wait to build another harbor this will be our second city like we'll build a harbor there and a harbor there And so here we'll just get started on a library. Wait, we have our monument, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, and I just realized that we were gonna build ancient walls. So let's switch out of engineering there. And let's go towards celestial note navigation. All right, let's keep our cavalry moving forward here. Our last one can head over yonder too. Uh, in the meantime, let's stop making them after that one there since we don't have any more chops left. And then we'll start with the builder to improve these and, and boost up the production here. Uh, meanwhile though, let's go ahead and... I was gonna say start with the commercial hub, but we'll go campus. That would be the better choice anyway, I think. And it's nice. There was a reef there, which gives you a plus two adjacency bonus. So we actually get a plus three because it gets an extra plus one from being in between our city and the encampment there. 
So that's not too bad at all. Eight turns away. Yeah, you know what? That it's better to just start that right away. All right, we have the builder here. Let's definitely get it to come down and be ready to chop. And yeah, we'll leave that there, like we said, and hopefully bait them with the general. Yes, it worked out. Okay, yeah, they killed one unit. But it could have been a lot fucking worse. Alright, so we'll make it going to John Ju. There's still gonna be a bit before we take that city. So some roads better than no road. Meanwhile, Gramps is still there. <laughs> He's taking his time. He's healing up. We'll we'll give him a turn or two before he heads over. Um in the meantime though. So we can get there, but I don't think we'll have enough movement speed to, or movement points left to actually pillage. So we'll do it next turn. We'll sit there and heal up. Um, meanwhile. Let's get the great general back out. Crossbow won't be able to make it back to the city. Like, it won't have the movement speed even with their great general there. So, knowing that, I think the right play is to move here with our swordsmen so we're in a better position to heal up. And we can still attack start damaging the city walls and then meanwhile he goes back in the city to hide we're on the road here so we have lots of movement we can actually move forward that far um, I think that's the right play we can actually smash the city walls too. The sooner we get those walls down, the better for everybody, right? So let's go ahead and make sure that the crossbow isn't gonna come closer. So we'll cut them off there. And because we have that movement speed bonus on this guy, we can actually hit the crossbow point and that should kill it. There you go. So we only really have to worry about a shot from the city wall. So we should be fine. Uh, meanwhile, we finish the trader here. Let's see. We definitely can use a library. But let's take a look for great general points. I just want to see where we are kind of. Okay, we're 21 turns away. But we're still in good shape. We will run some projects because we will <laughs> want another great general soon. But for now, we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and grab this library for sure. No. Nuh uh. Okay. Got one turn left in the age. Meanwhile, here. Let's move there with the horse. Moving closer with the man at arms. We can finally heal that horse. 
and then move in closer. Uh, here we can definitely smash. And that their walls are gone. There you go. That's perfect. So then now that their walls are gone and there's no rush, we can actually heal. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and pill some culture. Let's make sure we cue something in after defensive ta tactics and we do have it all set up. So that's okay. We can go ahead and kill it. And then meanwhile, now that we have that, you know what? Fuck it. We're getting rid of charismatic leader and we're going to put in, what do I want? Limes again, just out of curiosity. I'm going to call it limes forever, like ever and ever and ever. But I would like to know how I should actually be pronouncing it. So if you know, feel free to let me know. If you know, then you know. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm fucking special. Just leave it alone. Okay. Uh, yeah. We are going to move on to getting a granary back up and running, I guess. Or no, we're not. Yeah, we are. Production focus. It's going to be forever before build is ready. How long does this city take to build one? Yeah, forever. And ever and ever. You know what? Let's just move these builders. How long will they take? Eight turns? Jesus Christ. How long would our capital take? Four turns. That's more reasonable. Let's build a builder quickly in the capital and we'll send it on the road with Gramps. Yeah, so let's not even bother with this builder. Let's go ahead. How long does it take you to Ancient Wills? There you go. We'll build Ancient Wills. Dumbass. Oh my fucking English. <laughs> anyway, uh, we do have another promotion here. So we already have Black Market here for Magnus. I'm not in any hurry to get his other promotions. So it is time to help with loyalty. So let's go ahead. Oop, I almost clicked the wrong. Garrison Commander is what I'm looking for. Because I specifically want the your other cities within nine tiles get plus four loyalty. So there you go. That's a nice pickup. And after that, now we're definitely going to be heading towards Pingala. We, we definitely want to get as much help as we can with our science and culture. Okay. In the meantime, the battering ram can go to sleep. We'll take a nice promotion. Commando. Just like I am right now. That's a disgusting thought you don't want to think about. I know, I know. Uh, okay, anyways, let's see. We're going to get our scout to come over yonder. And how many turns before their denounce expires? 22 turns. Jesus. He might as well fucking die. Okay, never mind. We're going to come up here and go that way. I was going to hope to open borders with them if it wasn't going to be too long. But yeah, 22 years is a lifetime. Okay, um, I wonder if there's, there's a road there. I wonder if there's more cities of theirs. So we're going to go with our cavalry here and start heading that direction to take a look. I guess I could see how many cities, cities they have, but I really don't care that much. I'm just focused on finally taking this bad boy. Uh, speaking of which, let's see here. The general can just go to sleep. Are the walls not dead? I'm confused. And yeah, I know we didn't get a golden age. Shit happens. Okay, let's go ahead and pillage this to get health back. I don't know how the fuck, like, do they have like a cunt hair of wall that I can't see there? Yeah, they must. Oh, there is too. Look at it. 
you can sort of see it when it's zoomed in. Like, it's just... Now, that's a cunt hair. That's a cunt hair. That's all there is. Holy, I've never seen that before. I, I literally am just blown away right now that that was there. That That is pretty cool, actually. All right, in the meantime, let's go ahead and, you know, trim their bush and hit them with the man-at-arms here. And now that the wall is gone, we can actually use our cavalry too. They got a promotion there. We'll hit them with this cavalry. And then the swordsman should be able to finish it off. We're pretty close to it. But we'll grab them next turn. Next turn. Let's go ahead and make our dedication. We're going with the same one as last time. Free inquiry for the same reasons. But meanwhile, we're going to come down there with the horse. And looks like there's some barbarians down there too. So they're part of the wind dragon clan. But these, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Man. It's pretty good that the barbarians are there because those horsemen, ow. Well, that was a pretty flood. Killed the population <laughs> and damaged some tiles, but it was fucking entertaining to watch at least for me. Again, I care about every single one of my populations. <laughs> Hey, at least my swordsman didn't die. It could have been worse. Okay, so we'll heal them up. Now let's take a look at this shitstorm here and see what we're going to do. All right, so one might think that the best plan would be to take over the city. And one would be wrong, quite frankly. All right, so what we are going to do we're going to move this horseman yonder. And then we're actually going to not kill the city. We're going to come over here. We're going to kill this damn crossbow. Starting with the stronger man at arms. And then we'll attack here with our horsemen Dumb it. and we'll come here and we're going to pillage to get science so let's go ahead and make sure that we actually have something queued up which is good i looked because we didn't okay so we want celestial navigation for the harbor and then after that we don't really give a book so let's go construction after that and hopefully the city has a watermill that would be ideal for us. Uh, but anyway, back to what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and pillage. So now we can build harbors, which is nice. Um, and then we can still attack here. And it looks like we should kill them. So let's go ahead and do that. And then next turn, we'll pillage again and then take the city. And so let's go ahead and put this builder sleep here because we, oh wait, never mind. Magnus is in the fucking city. Oh, I know, I know. He broke the mold. He broke the mold after me, believe me. All right, but yeah, let's go over here and check out that road. Doesn't look like there's any more cities to Korea. So we're good to go that road. Like I could have went and checked in the diplomatic menu or whatever, but fuck it. All right. Um. What are we going to chop? We are going to chop. We got both options, but we only have the one card slotted in right now. So we're definitely chopping horsemen. That's basically how it works. Okay. Horsemen. Now that's chopped. We'll go back to what we were working on. The walls. head down yonder there next turn uh, meanwhile we have another horseman that we could play around with um theoretically we could even get some more experience by attacking that uh you know what i'm trying to say the encampment however we can't get closer unfortunately so we'll just have to move there 
and deal with it. But we can try next turn to get some more experience before we actually take the city and probably kill them, most likely. Yeah, they have zero mil military strength, so that's got to be their last city, I'm sure. Uh, meanwhile, here, these fuckers start on or... Mm. We'll just switch to a monument for now. And hopefully they come up to us and then kill themselves on us. Uh, but in the meantime, here we finish the campus. We can actually build the harbor now, so let's definitely lock that in. It's a nice plus three harbor. Thank you. And we're going to build one here too, so let's go ahead and lock that in while I'm thinking about it. Another plus three. And we definitely want to repair that first, but we're going to manage citizens and unlock those and put them on, on a production focus now. And next turn, we're going to take the last city here and it'll be a great spot to end the video. So if you haven't already, please do me a favor and leave a like on the video. It definitely goes a long way to helping a small channel like me grow. And plus, like, frankly, you can tell if you haven't known me before this, I'm clearly a special person. I need all the help I can get. Uh, aid request. Poundmaker was ravaged by natural disaster. We should help them. Military emergency. Oh, I'm going to let them. Can I vote for it? You may not vote in favor on the target. Well, I'm only putting 10 points in because I'm hoping they don't. I would get 200 fucking diplomatic favor as long as I resist them. And I'm quite frankly, I hope people declare war against me because then I generate less grievances when I get to choose my next victim. Looking at you, Cyrus. And Germany. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, thumbs up for Poundmaker. Nice! Who's at war with us? Cyrus. That a boy. That, my guy. My guy. Fuck yeah. What a way to win this, or what a way to finish the video off, right? Is that not perfect? Like, literally. It's time to pillage for some more signs. And... We're not attacking with our horse because we already have a promotion. Uh, speaking of which, for the first choice on Light Cavalry, in my opinion, you'd be pretty silly if you didn't chase... Dumbass. If you didn't take horses. Courses. Courses. Because ultimately, you shouldn't be attacking anti cavalry with cavalry. Pretty simple. And so the plus five combat strength against ranged and siege units is just better. So that's the choice. However, the next choice is a hard one. Like two times a flanking bonus, fucking awesome. Or pillaging costs only taking one movement, fucking awesome. It's actually a hard choice. And it makes me cry inside every time I have to choose. But if, with the first one, there's no, there's no choice really. Okay, anyway. Um... I think we're ready to take the city now, right? Did we want to try and get some experience by attacking that? Sure. And we'll flip flop and attack it with the cavalry. And then here, and we'll attack. And now we'll send them on the merry way. been a slice and on that note we're gonna end the video here so again appreciate all your time hopefully you enjoyed it i know i was pretty fucking stupid this this playthrough but i'm having fun and it's a little i'm a little bit rusty both in playing and in like talking into a microphone and trying not to be completely fucking useless so yeah we're getting back into the swing of things here 
And uh, before you know it, we'll be headed to the stars. Okay. Anyway, adios. I'll see you next video.